Warning, warning, warning. Pat's two cents. Reading. Alaska's health worker had a serious allergic reaction after Pfizer's vaccine. Hello. Now check this out as I read. I'm going to read as emotionless as possible. Mariel, our church member, my daughter in the Lord, sent this to me. Check this out and see if you really, really, really trust the system to tell you what you need to put in your body or not. Hmm. A healthcare worker in Alaska had a serious allergic reaction after getting fights. His Symptoms that emerged within minutes and required an overnight hospital stay. The middle-aged worker has no history of allergies, but had an anaphylactic reaction that began 10 minutes after receiving the vaccine of Barlett Regional Hospital in Janu, Alaska, a hospital official said. She experienced a rash over her face and torso, shortness of breath, and an elevated heart rate. Dr. Lindy Jones, the hospital's emergency department medical director said the worker was first given a shot of epinephrine, another word for adrenaline, a standard treatment for severe allergic reactions. Her symptoms subsided, but then reemerged and she was treated with steroids and an epinephrine drip. When doctors tried to stop the drip, her symptoms reemerged yet again. So the woman was moved to the intensive care unit, observed throughout the night, then weaned off the drip early Wednesday morning, Jones said. He said the woman felt well, remained enthusiastic about the vaccine, and was set to be discharged later Wednesday. Although the fights of vaccine was shown to be safe and about 95% effective in a clinical trial involving 44,000 participants, the Alaska case will likely intensify concerns about possible side effects. Experts described the woman's symptoms as potentially life-threatening and said that they may prompt calls for tighter guidelines to ensure that recipients are carefully monitored for adverse reactions. Dr. Paul Alford, a vaccine expert and member of an outside advisory panel that recommended the Food and Drug Administration authorize the fights of vaccine for emergency use, said the appropriate precautions are already in place. For instance, he said, the requirement that recipients remain in place for 15 minutes after getting the vaccine helped ensure the woman was quickly treated. I don't think this means we should pause vaccine distribution, he said. Not at all. But he said researchers need to figure out what component of the vaccine is causing this reaction. Now I'm going to stop and say this. This is Pat's two cents. You think? I'm done. I'm not even reading anymore. You take it if you want. But two other people had the same type of reaction in Britain. Do I get any volunteers? Will you? Really? really? really?